Okay, so I just woke up, you know, the benefit of, of living in Thailand and working remotely is, is the fact that you don't have to use alarm clock because anyway, you ain't gonna sleep. You ain't gonna sleep till 3 p.m. unless you're very, very, very tired. We are going to rehabilitation center because my wife has some rehabilitation classes for her leg. Let's start with the day. Here I got some mess that needs to be fixed. Yesterday I was drinking too much of those soda. I like them, but you know, zero sugar should be zero calories. There it is. But yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, the house is clean, so now I think we are running out of time, so I will have to get ready to go outside. Let's go! We will go to gym after rehabilitation, so we, I need to make sure I got everything. Let me maybe prepare my tank of water. Drain hack! Huh? Okay, when it comes to gym, I also testing right now the M stack, both to put more protein into your muscles and stuff like this, yada, yada, yada. But I don't know if it's working or placebo. I just take it because I like experimenting. I got also my vitamins. These are very good. Wow, the weather is amazing. Pretty much always is amazing in Thailand, unless we have raining season. But this year, the raining season is quite nice to us. Okay, my wife is currently on physiotherapy session, so she's training her leg and I I am just waiting. You know, I wanted to do some work right now to answer my clients, my business partners, so to go to Discord, Messenger, Instagram and respond to messages. And then the next step is to hit the gym. Or maybe I will be able to convince my wife to get a coffee from Amazon before we hit the gym because I also need need to take my stack of pills m stack that's supposed to grow your muscles and stuff like this but yeah i think you know after time i think it's gonna be bullshit How are you? Hmm. Better? With your hands? Yeah. <laughs> black coffee, okay. honey, lemon. And for me, maybe black coffee but with the orange juice. You get the extra shot? Mm -hmm. yeah. One extra shot. No extra shot for me. Normal caffeine level today.
Okay, we got our coffee. <clears throat> Let's go to the beach. So the camp. <laughs> so this beach it's definitely not a tourist place. It's more like a fisherman beach. Yeah, kind of. So it's like a small local place. You know, I really enjoy going here to, to Amazon to get a coffee, sit on the beach during the, you know, during my mornings. This place there is also a very nice place. They have nice matcha, nice food. Right now we are in that kind of moon phase that the water, as you can see, is going a little bit uh, to the back. But during this evening, I think the water will come back to the levels of somewhere here. So anyway, the coffee is finished. So what time is it? Let me check. Okay, it's a little bit after 12 a.m. So it's time to hit the gym. Let's go. Look at this one. In Asia, they have nice buildings like this. The, the colorful statues of, of different figures. But in Europe, what do we have? We have churches and more statues of Christ or whatever. I don't know, it's kind of depressing. I would prefer to have like colorful statues of some, you know, historic persons like this one. This is Guan Wu. Guan Wu, I think I pronounce it correct. And he was basically the Chinese warrior. Historical person. <laughs> Yeah, let's go for some workout. Okay, the workout is over. 
I noted every single workout and anyway it's time to go to get something to eat then go back to home and start the the work and I'm very very wasted after the gym Let's go eat something. Alright, so we decided to go to the Tesco, our local Tesco. I think it's called Lotus. It's the Thai version of Tesco. So we decided to go to Lotus to get something to eat because, you know, there are many restaurants in here, but the major condition for us was to get something to eat in a place where we have air conditioning because today the weather is hot and after the gym we are like <sighs> it's 15 past uh, 2 p.m. So I need to go to the home and prepare for the working day. I think I'm gonna get something protein shake also because I'm a little bit hungry. But yeah, the food was amazing. My wife didn't like it so much, but me, I like the, the raw fish, the white fish with the lime sauce and chili. Mm, delicious. We are back at home. Where it is, where it is. Just let's make it cold. So I'm gonna prepare for work, maybe call some clients and yeah, start my working day. You know, we can also check uh, the guys who are building the house. Let, oh, looks like they made a lot of progress. Those Thai people that are working so fast. Looks like, the, you know, sometimes they're like two, three, four days, like when they're doing nothing, pretty much laying on the concrete and resting. But when they actually start working, like they put this steel roof in like two days. So yeah, that, that's crazy. Okay, let's do some work. This is my notion with the list of all my videos. As you can see, some progress is going on. But today we're gonna focus on coding. Yeah. Okay guys, I've been working over a 3 hours sprint, so when it comes to things that I have done, i already done the first task, the second task, and I've done also the third task during the 3 hour period. Usually I like working like 3 hours, then split, and then again 3 hours sprint uh, over the days. So let me just mark this one as finished also. What I've done is the XAML, the XAML files. The, the views in Avalonia when you create the desktop applications in C-Sharp. So I created uh, XAML templates and views for the, the connections to, to exchanges like or, or to exchanges or MetaTrader brokers. I, I used MetaTrader 4 as a, as a template. Anyway, what I did, I added the view for the engine logs because when I connect my front end to my back end, which is actually the engine, I want to see what's going on inside this engine and i added a view for the engine info so yeah it would be like simple grpc call to return the the version all the active threads the actual performance of the engine and stuff like this so so basically metrics that you keep during the runtime so yeah so i created those three uh, modules i don't know if i can call it modules but yeah those three parts of, of the software 
so I'm left with adding engine connect inject to views this one will be huge this, <laughs> I think I'm gonna spend the entire three hour session my entire nightly three hour session on, on this module and I have add proto for engine info so you know those two are kind of uh, connected to each other because I need to add proto files to you know correct proto files that you use in gRPC services and then I need to do the inject of the engine connect model so yeah basically I will have like one model that will connect through gRPC and signal R hopefully in the future to the engine which is my backend and then it will uh, basically this object will be responsible for all the communication through the gRPC and uh, signal R to my backend engine so yeah, I will just pass this object through inject in each constructor, in each view constructor. So in that case, I will be able to pretty much from every view, I will be able to display everything and hit every RPC command. Yeah, pretty much. That's it. number one scoop number two okay let's just take my placebo tablets as well the M stack one, I should take two of those. And the next one is the animal, animal vitamins. Those are actually good and I, and I can pretty sure, pretty safely say that uh, they're working when it comes to vitamin supply. Let's go outside with this. Let's take those pills and uh, see how is the weather. And it looks like this. No, just a little break. So yeah, right now I have small break. Uh, I need to, you know, drink this, eat this. Then I will take a little bit of rest. And 30, 40 minutes later, I'm gonna do the next three hour session of coding. Okay guys, I decided that uh, before it will get dark, I need to prepare my laundry. So I'm gonna filter my, my clothes to get the dirty ones, just put them into the bag and uh, drop it on the laundry place. There is a nice lady, I think three or four houses down there that is doing uh, you know laundry for very, very cheap. I pay like, I don't know, 200 baht, 300 baht per few kilo. Uh, I don't know how much is it, but usually I pay up to 300 baht and this is the amount in dollars here. Yeah, it should be here, down there. Anyway, let, let's do this. Looks like I have to launder all my clothes. <laughs> Everything is dirty. Let's drop it to the Thai lady. I don't know how I'm gonna move it. Okay, this is better way. Like this. Looks like the place is closed, so I'm too late. Let's try tomorrow. Okay, so I'm back at home. So I'm gonna do the next three hour coding session. Finish those two tasks, sum up the day and uh, yeah, enjoy the, the rest of the night. You know, it's already 7 p.m. So in Thailand, it's gonna get dark in like 10, 15 minutes. So the timing is all right. So, okay, let's go. Bye -bye. 
Hey, it's, it's getting very late. It's already dark outside. And I think it's time to order some food for the last meal of the day. So for this one, I will use Food Panda, my favorite application in Thailand. Mm, let's see what we got for today. Let's go with the KFC. Okay, so this is the delivery. And let's order. Hooray, four minutes left. Sadi huh? Cup, can I make video? <laughs> Thank you so much. The KFC is here. Okay, so let's see what we got for 343 baht, which is that kind of amount in dollars. You can see on the screen. So yeah, let's open this up. Double zinga. This is for my wife, I guess. Mashed potatoes. They are awesome. We do not have them in Europe. Chicken strips number three. And these are zap. Zap chicken wings. Okay, guys, we are slowly approaching the 10 p.m. So it's getting very, very late and I just stopped working. So when it comes to my to-do list, I can finally tick that task. I managed to make this inject module. So when it comes to my to-do list, it looks like this. I managed to make the XAM views files. I added the engine connect inject. I added the views for the engine logs, the views for the engine info. And also I updated the proto files for the engine info. So now I can show you how it looks on the app. This is the app. So what I did basically, I added those views for connections. Like here we have different kind of connections. We can add connection, right? Uh, we have view for logs for the engine logs. So logs of the backend. We can see the engine information here if we click down you can uh, we can see the application log because you know uh, we have always different types of logs for the backend and frontend right so for the engine logs we have the backend logs and the application logs we have the logs that actually our frontend application is producing and here we have little disconnect and when we disconnect it's working it's pretty much that's it so you can see what I'm doing pretty much consistently every day. And if you like that kind of videos, if you like me sharing my journey, sharing my tips, yeah, pretty much my daily life and my project I am developing, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel and you can see Discord group, Discord link. You can join my Discord group if you like. And anyway, if you can talk, we can exchange ideas and stuff like this. And anyway, thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.